Fort Nightmares is right around the corner and that has me excited because I always love the Fort Nightmares updates. Sure, some have been more lackluster than others, but I always have a good time either way. Like for example, last year's wasn't the best, but it definitely wasn't the worst. I feel like what they missed on most was the Halloween decorations around the map. But in regards to Fort Nightmares skins, they absolutely cooked by releasing Jack Skellington, Michael Myers, and Alan Wake. And that doesn't even include some of their original skins like Phantom Meow Skulls, Festival Phaedra, Bog Stick, Swamp Fish Stick. And to add on to those skins, the crew skin was Shimmer Dust, who was also part of the Fort Nightmares update. Which leads me into what I want to talk about with you today. What Fort Nightmares skins could we get in the item shop this year? So I'm going to predict what skins and what collabs we could possibly see this year. And I will also discuss with you what skins I would love to see in this Fort Nightmares update. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a few collab characters that I think have a really good chance showing up in the item shop this year. The first one I'd like to mention is Jason Voorhees. It was leaked back in May that there will be a Fortnite and Friday the 13th collab. And after getting the iconic Michael Myers last year, I'd say that it is definitely possible that this leak is real and we will get Jason in game. And I feel like if we're getting Jason, it's only right that we also get Freddy Krueger. Now, if we don't get Jason for some reason, I think it's time for Fortnite to bring in Ghostface. I'm kind of surprised that they went with Michael Myers over Ghostface, to be honest. I don't know what it is, but Ghostface gives me a vibe that he should be a Fortnite skin already. Something about the mask and outfit makes me feel like he'd be a really good skin. I hope we get lucky and we we get Ghostface and Jason in the same Fort Nightmares update. Another character that seems very possible for Fort Nightmares is Slenderman. In a recent update, it was reported by a leaker that Rocket League could possibly be getting Slenderman, and typically Fortnite and Rocket League share collabs, which is why I think it's a high possibility that he comes into the game. Also, imagine if it was on the map, like you're running through the woods by Rebel's Roost and you run into Slenderman, that would be absolutely creepy. But something that definitely needs to be brought into this Fort Nightmares is fog all around the map because it just makes it that much better. This next collab I'm going to talk about definitely feels like a sure thing, and that is a Disney Villains collab. This was teased during D23, so if you attended that event in Fortnite or in person, then you shouldn't be surprised by this collab. Now, we of course don't know what villains we will get exactly, but if I had to put money on a character, it would be Maleficent. I think she would be a really good fit for Fortnite Mares. I think Ursula could happen as well, but I'd be very curious about what her legs would look like in-game. Like, imagine seeing Ursula in game with four tentacles as legs while everybody else is just running around with two. That would honestly mess with my head watching four tentacles run at me while I'm just running with two legs. Now the next few characters I'm going to mention are collabs I would love to see in the item shop. For starters, I think Beetlejuice would be awesome. Plus, a new Beetlejuice movie just released, so I think it would be a great skin to have in game. This one is more for vehicles, but it would be cool to get the whole group as well. But it would be fun to have the Mystery Machine as a car skin in Fortnite. And if we got Scooby in the crew, that would be even better. I know this next collab is one that a lot of people have wanted to see for years, and that is Five Night at Freddy's. I'm so shocked that they have not collabed together in Fortnite, but who knows, maybe it'll happen someday. This next collab I'm going to mention is the one I want the most. Some of you may be too young and not know this character, but I would love to have Celine from the Underworld movies in Fortnite. I think she would be a perfect character to bring into this game. She was such a badass in the Underworld movies, and her with the dual pistols lives in my head rent free. Well, she lives in my head rent free anyways, but that's besides the point. The point is, Celine should be in Fortnite, and I would give Epic my soul if they made that happen. All right, so those are the collabs that I could see happening or want to happen that aren't Marvel characters. Since it is a Marvel season, we have to discuss what Marvel characters we could probably see during this Fort Nightmares. And we are going to start with Mephisto. Because this season is heavily focused on Doctor Doom, and if you go into the forest near Rebel's Roost, you will see a statue of his mom to honor her. In the comics, Doom has challenged Mephisto many times to free his mother's soul. So in Fortnite, he could use Pandora's powers in a fight against Mephisto after summoning him. And if that happens, that needs to be a live event because I would love to see that. I think another possible character would be Agatha Harkness. Not only is she a witch, so she fits the Fort Nightmares theme, but her show also comes out on Disney Plus this fall, so it would basically be free advertising for both Fortnite and Marvel. I haven't seen any leaks about this one, so I don't
don't know how likely it is, but I think it is a good opportunity to bring in Marvel zombies this season. Of course, we could see characters like Iron Man or Captain America, but I think it could be cool if we got a Marvel zombies version of some characters that Doom has kept as trophies in his castle. Like a Moon Knight zombie skin would be fun, even though I'd prefer a comic Moon Knight first, or Doctor Strange or Thanos as zombies would be sick as well. Another character that would really fit this Fort Nightmares theme from Marvel would be Werewolf by Night. And there was a special presentation for this character a few years ago. And another character that popped up during that special presentation was Man-Thing. Another character that I think would be a lot of fun for Fort Nightmares. Another character I could throw in there from that special presentation, but give her more of her comic look would be Elsa Bloodstone. Because she is a monster hunter, but they really could bring her in at any time and I really think they should. I think she would be a good fit for Fortnite. A character I would love to see is Morbius. And as much as I would love the comic version, because the comic version looks so good, but for the memes, they would need to bring in the movie version and one of the emotes has to say it's morbid time based on a recent leak we could also be getting anti-venom during fort nightmares and speaking of venom it'd be really cool to get spider gwen's version spider gwenom along with bringing venom back into the item shop during fort nightmares now as far as original characters go i would like to see a classic vampire skin just a classic dracula a classic witch a headless horseman i think the bride of frankenstein would be a great character to bring in she would look really cool in game i know we already have a Frankenstein skin but they could do a more classic look as well maybe like an alternate version and because they've done a Shadow Midas and a Phantom Meowskulls I think they could do another maybe Shadow or Phantom character from that chapter 2 season 2 battle pass I would personally pick TNT Tina but I think Brutus could be really cool as well but those are my predictions for what I would like to see during four nightmares as far as skins go I'll most likely be making a video about what I'd like to see for four nightmares in general as far as the update goes but let me know what skins would you love to see what collabs would you love to see let me know what you thought of my ideas and if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and use code toon spider in the item shop to support me and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace